We're gonna end this podcast. Wait, what the f- Wait, what? Huh? Wait. Wait, hold on. Oh, my bad. Wait, hold on. What episode even is this podcast? For the record, I, I don't even know myself. Uh, oh, yeah, episode 18. <laughs> okay. Welcome, everyone, to the Broku Cast. My name is Broku Satsu, and I'm your guest for today. And here at this podcast, we talk about pretty much anything I want. Superhero, life, random random stuff, because why not? Pretty much, yeah. And uh, today, well, well, sit back and relax. We got a lot of shit to talk about. <laughs> this episode... This episode title is called Hot Take. The episode title for this episode is called Hot Take. Because, oh boy, I have a lot of hot takes to talk about. Alright, I'll get away. So, so where's the last episode, Broku? Alright, hear me out. Alright, 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 hear me out. I forgot. <laughs> I was, uh, for real though, uh, I forgot. I was tired. Work last week was... Not the best for me. It was tiresome. But uh, I got past that week, thank God. Oh, yeah. Uh, Black Sun. Black Sun happened last week. Black Sun just came out last week on Amazon Prime. And I, I, I really do recommend it. It's actually so good. That show pretty much what I wanted a Kamen Rider. And they, and they fucking delivered. Ravi sucks. But Black Sun came over. Black Sun came over here and helped and gave me a pat, a pat on the back. Say, "Hey, yo, hold on, Aaron. Hold on, Aaron. We know that. We know that. We know that you did not like Ray Vice, Ray Vice. So just, just to make up for you, here's a good, sh- here's a good comedy show you'll love. And I, yeah, I did. I, I, I freaking loved it. Oh man, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna get the spoiler, but I'm gonna say this." This is gonna be a hot take, but uh, tell me why Aoi is probably the best female protagonist writer, female protagonist character we got in Kamen Rider right now. Second, Nago from uh, Jeets, but still. Also, see, also, uh, Aoi's better than Sakura. Don't, don't at me. See, yes, Aoi's just better than Sakura. Oh, like Sakura. Aoi has a character in the show and had good writing behind her. I don't know. I don't know what the f. Uh, sorry. I don't know what the fuck is Sakura's writing. Ray Vice. I'm sorry, but I'm still thinking about. Still trying to think about what the fuck is her character in that show because her character in that show is a complete. How can I say this? Abysmal. Yes, abysmal. Like, no. Nah, okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Her writing just wasn't that good. <laughs> Her writing, she was acting one of the most flawed, char- flawed characters in the show, sadly. So, there's also that. But Aoi over here was just written pretty well. What the, what's the difference between a human life and a kaiju life? A kaiju life. Which actually really good. I freaking loved that in the show. I did. No, no joke. I actually did. I freaking loved that. And, uh. I know we, I know we ain't gonna get, we ain't gonna get like a, like a freaking continuation of show, and that's totally fine. But if we did, I would love to see, I would love to see what would happen. But that's just me. But that's just me. Yeah, Black Sun's in my top ten favorite comrade shows. It's so good. Best Raywalk comrade show, best Raywalk comrade season. Well, I can't say season. Can I say no? Not season. Best Raywalk Comrade Show, period, for 2022. Yes, I said it's the best one. It's better than Revice. Revice, Re- yeah, it's better than Revice. Because, well, Revice wasn't that good. So, yeah. Any- <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, Black Sun? Really good. Fake Cannon Show, Aoi. See, again, again, see the best female protagonist, right? Best female protagonist character we got in Reiwa this year. Next to Nago. Fuck Sakura. Hana's better than Sakura. So, okay, okay, if I had to rank them, it's like this. We got Aoi, we got uh, Hana, and we got Nago. 
Actually, that's that's shocking. We got Allery, we got Allery from Black Sun. We got Naga from Jeet, and we got uh, Hana from Revice. The main reason why Hana, main reason why Hana stirred because while I enjoy her character arc and character development in the show, at the same time, I don't, I didn't want to be unfair between her or Nago. But uh, but Nago, but Nago get on my good side a lot in Jeets as well. Cause I like her. She's actually my, she's actually like my second favorite character in the show, and that's the tycoon. So yeah. <laughs> So yeah, those are my top three female protagonists, female female writers for this year. Yes, Alvy's a com. Yes, I'm gonna call Alvy a common writer. You can you can, you can call her that. You can say she did hench in the show, so it's also that. Spoiler for those that, spoiler for those that didn't watch Black Sun, but yeah. But uh, hey, but uh, hey, I'm hey hey, I'm not mad about it. Speaking of speaking of stuff, uh, I have I have, I have like a, I uh, I can't talk. But, so, uh, do you guys remember? So, uh, do you guys remember when I said in my uh, one of my podcast episode that uh, I had plans on buying the SP license? You know the one. You know the uh, SP license, the premium band I want, the, uh, the Arsene one, the Arsenian one. Yeah, I can call. Uh, yeah, I, I, update, I bought that. Yeah, I know, Joe, I actually did. I bought it on Saturday. Saturday, I decided to do a little bit of Black Friday shopping, and I bought that. For how much? Well, it was pretty pricey, but somewhere around, like, I would say almost 400 But somewhere around, like, yeah, almost 400 and, uh, whew. Damn, that took, that took a shit out of, that, that took the shit a lot out of me. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, let's see, what else? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, uh. I did, like, a pile of loot on Big Bad Toy Store as well. What did I bought from Big Bad Toy Store? Well, okay. So, I bought four things. Three figures, one stream set, because I have planned to up gain, up gain, upgrade my photography skills, we can say. And, uh, I need a new set, because, like, since I have one now, it's almost broken, almost about to fall apart. So, yeah, I think time for a brand new set for Broku. So, the figures I bought, I bought a SA Figure Arts, uh, Super Saiyan 2 Son Goku, you know, the Saiyan of Comic Con version. And also, yes, I know, he was on Premier Bandai US. But here's the thing, I don't have a Premier Bandai account, sadly, so I can't buy him. <laughs> sadly, I'll be doing the same thing for Shadow Moon. Well, to be fair, I found Shadow Moon on an import site. For a good price, so I'll be getting him off there. Cause again, I can't use Peep and the US. Why is that, Broku? Because this is just me, but uh, Peep Bandai US and Crunchyroll just doesn't want to make, just doesn't want to work for me. Every time I try to make an account on both those websites, it just doesn't work. I I always get like some type of error, or. Or give me some type of explanation saying, oh, add this and this in them. Yeah, I already did that. It's stupid. It's freaking stupid. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah. I have Super Saiyan 2 Goku. I bought the Mayfex comic symbiote Spider-Man. Thank God, cause I canceled my pre-order on Ami, Ami sadly. And I'm pretty mad that I'm pretty mad that I had to miss out on him. But uh, hey, I don't have to. I don't, I don't, hey, I don't have to now. So thank you for that. And uh, oh yeah, the SA figure Comrade Zio, Uma movie form. Also, I bought like a freaking extreme set. Uh, alley, yeah, alley background for my pictures in the future. So yeah. 
Do, 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 do. Also, speaking of speaking of stuff that came in, I ha a few things came in last week. I had got I finally got my uh, lightning collection Chung Lee Ranger. That figure is not the best. This she's all right. If you saw my Instagram, if you saw my Instagram post, then you would know how I feel about that figure. But I'm say right here, I'm not doing review on that figure. That figure is just okay. My copy, she's loose. And her hands do not want to come off. Like, for fuck's sake. Haspo, what the heck? Why are they super tight? Like, for real though, they're super tight. It almost makes me want to... <laughs> I almost pull a freaking muscle, I would say. I almost pull a freaking muscle from trying to take her hands out. And it's so fucking hard. My god, Hasbro, how the hell can you, how the hell can you fucked up so badly on a good looking figure? Well, what I'm saying. What were I saying? What's this? Well, what I'm saying. Oh, sorry, my, my bad. But what I'm saying, this is the same company that uh, that uh, that that got desperate with with the freaking uh, fucking Ghost Rider uh. Haslab, which by the way, I know not a lot of people care for that, and uh, that the Haslab failed sadly. Just for fuck's sake, Hasbro! I know, I know the Marvel Legends team was desperate for that, but for fuck's sake, let me say this: this is coming from someone who doesn't even fully care for Marvel Legends. There are a few Marvel Legends that I like here and there, but besides that, I'm not like the biggest fan of that of that uh toy uh. Community and uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that toy line. Some Marvel Legends are bad, in my opinion, are garbage. Some other ones I have in my experience are complete other shit. So yeah. So back on, so back on as I was saying, is uh, speaking of stuff that came in, uh, I finally got my uh, Operator DVD. Oh yeah, if that me book you can find a review on this podcast. I will. But here's the thing. Right now a friend cause a friend I'm watching I'm watching Go Go Firefighter a friend of mine shout out to my shout out to Psycho. Psycho if you're watching this, here's your here's your freaking shout out. <laughs> but uh, a friend of mine recommended me Go Go Five. <laughs> and uh, I'm I'm freaking loving it, I wanna say. After I'm done watching uh Gogo Five, I will uh after I'm done watching Gogo Five, I will watch Arbor Ranger. I'm actually excited to watch this show. And since next year at the twelfth anniversary, since next year at the twelfth anniversary for the movie, for for the whole show in general, that could be fun. Oh, speaking of that, all anyone knows it, but uh last month, uh Toei. Announced they're making a 20th anniversary reunion movie for Abba Ranger and Hurricane. And uh, I was fanboy when I saw that for both. I did wa I did miss the Hurricane event, sadly. I did not watch that live. But I did watch the Abba, the Abba Ranger one live. And uh, I was fanboying. I was fanboying. I was fanboying badly. <clears throat> I stay up, I stay up to like 4 in, the, 4 in the morning watching that shit. And I regret that time. Half of it was boring, but other but other half wasn't. And uh, yeah, I freaking loved it. I freaking loved it. That's for sure. <laughs> ah man, but uh, yeah, Hurricane Jr. Can't wait. Hurricane Jr. Operator movies. Can't wait for those. I can't. I can't wait for those. <laughs> Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, back on saying is, uh, yeah, I can't wait for those. And everyone asked me, will I buy the changers for both? I did a freaking, uh, YouTube short yesterday. Tell, tell people to get, get their walls ready. 
because I already know that we really have seen Bennett going to announce the pre-orders. Now, I'm go now here's what I gotta say about that. I'm gonna guess they're gonna announce them next month because next month is my birthday month. So yay for that! If that's the case, then then I'm taking advantage of that for real. I'm gonna take advantage of that and say, oh, okay, I can buy both these chains for my birthday. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, okay, I can buy both of these changes for my birthday, so that's great. That's a great and wonderful, so thank for that. <laughs> and, uh, what else, what else, what else? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my bad. Oh, yeah, uh... <laughs> I'm trying to say for Power Morphicon 2024, and, uh, Bandai just announced these two out of nowhere? Yeah, 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 pretty great. Oh yeah, speaking of changers, I did say that I did say I bought the uh, the the freaking SP license SP license on this episode, but uh, I will be doing a review of that of that toy of that figure. I'm gonna say almost that figure. No, not a fi not a figure. No, it's a it's a toy. I will do a, I will do a, I will do a fucking uh, review of that changer, and uh, all I'm gonna say that uh, fuck I'm nervous. Now, I'm hoping I don't get copyrighted, because there are some music on it that copyrighted. And, uh, I don't want, I don't want Psychic Lover or Toei or Avex, anyone to come after me. So, yeah. I do not know why my Alexa turned on, so please forgive me. Alexa, turn off. I think my dog's, I think my dog's outside my room trying to get in. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> That's funny, but uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but uh, yeah. It's not if you no. Know, I want to say that for Google Five, I'm actually really, I'm actually loving the show a lot. I'm really enjoying Google Five, <laughs> and uh, I'm on episode thirty right now, and I'm almost done. I'm gonna ask me who's my favorite character in the show. Who's my favorite member of the family? Nagia. Yeah. I fucking love Gold Blue. Besides the fact that it's actors Jin and Falcon from Amazon Saber and, and featured Decker from Ultimate Decker, Nagia yeah, is my favorite character in the show. Second Diamond. I fucking love that. I fucking love that <laughs> that guy. <laughs> he just, as my friend said it. He's full of energy, and yes, yes, he is. He's, he's, he's my boy. He's my best boy. <laughs> why the heck is he better than Pat? Why the heck is he better than Green Ranger from Lupat? Just saying. Well, to be fair, well, to be fair, one has decent writing, one has good writing, the other one doesn't. The other one's just there, like. For real, he's just there, not doing nothing. He's just a side character, being completely useless and trash. And yes, I'm saying that as someone who hates Lupe. <laughs> uh, well, well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna lose a lot of subscribers. <laughs> For record, if you love Lupe, that's fine. I don't like the show. I guess you should talk about why I don't like Lupe. I guess I should talk about, but. Uh, or I talk about or I talk about most time why I don't like Luke Pat, but I'm gonna say it here then again. My like main issue with the show that I like the concept idea between two teams, a cops and robbers. I fucking love that idea. I fucking love that idea. But uh it's just the execution was garbage and abysmal and horrendous. Like the show doesn't the show doesn't feel like two Sentai's team. Ninety nine percent of it just feel like it's the Pat. No, not Pat. Ninety nine percent of it just feel like it's just the it just it just feel like that Junk Kill just she just feel like she wanted to make a show called Lupin Rangers, featuring Pat Rangers. Like the Pat Rangers are basically side characters. Like I shit you now. I try to think, but what I'm trying to think, but what the f is Pat? What the f? The pink and green rangers character and loop pat. Can't think about it because one, they don't have one. Two, they're rated characters, 
and three, both the both the cast members can do way better than that crappy show. Oh wait, what I'm saying, they are doing better. <laughs> ay yeah yeah. Ay yeah yeah. And don't get me started. Don't, don't get me started. Freaking Katero. What the fuck is Katero's character in the show? Besides him being a wannabe Bond who's just mad trained for a seven. Like Junko, listen. If you're trying to copy my boy Kawa, then that's not a good idea. Because Kawa wrote for not all Kawa did wrote for a few of your ep few episodes for both your shows. He wrote. For, not only talking about a Kawa wrote for four four or five episodes of you. the heck? Sorry about that, that was weird. Uh, I heard my mom yelling, we're right down there, and uh, yeah, and never mind, you need not you need know about that. What we're we talking about again? Oh yeah, Geoger. I fucking love Geoger. <laughs> I actually do love Geoger. I think Geoger and Bokinger are two of the most underrated anniversary seasons, in my opinion. Same for Gal Ranger. While I didn't like Gal Ranger, it's also it's also up there as well. But that, to be at the same time, Gal Ranger is uh, pretty popular in Japan. So yeah. But uh, but uh, yeah, I freaking love Geoger. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say this nice as way possible. Hot take, but uh, Geoger is better than Gokaiger for being an anniversary. And the main reason why I say that because maybe the main reason why I say that is because of this. You don't need to have fan service to be a good anniversary season. While Bo Kinger did pay homage in, to past Sentai's, what I love about that show is that it didn't it didn't need to go super fan service cause like because that because okay. <laughs> Alright, alright, I'm going to destroy Gokaiger here for this one, but, uh, people praise Gokaiger at, people praise Gokaiger way too much. Yeah, these are the same people, I'm going to go, and this is, and what I'm going to say is ironic coming from me out of all people, but, uh, these are the same people that hype up shows like Dino Fury, Build, fuck, oh, uh, what else? Well, X Zade, Fives, Ryuki, Revice, fuck Revice, just saying! <laughs> Hell, fucking Zero One. And I like Zero One, but still. People. 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 People in the Tokyo community put the expectations way too. People. Ex, people. These people have way too much expectations for something in the Tokyo community. Like, for fuck's sake. When the, uh, when pop, fuck, when post-con happened, when Simon, and when Simon announced what, what's gonna happen for Cosmic Fury, people were butthurt that, people, people were butthurt mad that they weren't the Cuban in the suits. I'm like, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, the Q Rangers, the Q Ranger suits weren't gonna happen in the first place. Simon dressed that multiple times, said it many times. It wasn't gonna happen in the first place. You guys let you guys let your you guys let your damn expectation take over you. But for fuck's sake, it's getting annoying about it. And now people are butthurt about it. Like you guys, you guys, it's a fucking kid show. It's a fucking kid show. It wasn't gonna happen in the first place. It wasn't going to happen in the first place, though. <sighs> I can't. And to be honest, to be honest, this is my exact same problem with freaking anniversary shows in general. Because when Zen Kaiju came out, people were expecting that show to be on the same level as Go Kaiju. And there are people out there who didn't like it. Because not Go Kaiju level. I'm like, you guys. You guys, you guys put you guys put Gokaiju on a fucking pedestal, saying that oh Gokaiju is awesome, Gokaiju is the best in the first season, Gokaiju is peak Sentai. It's not the best. It's mediocre. It, it's a good show, but not perfect by all means. It's true. It's not peak Sentai. 
You want peak Sentai? Let's talk about Decker Ranger. Just saying. And yes, Gokaiger isn't. Yes, Decker Ranger is better than Gokaiger. Don't at me. Hell, hell. If if I want to say this a bit more clear, it's better than hell. Dawn Brothers. Is, Dawn Brothers is better than Gokaiger. Same for Gen Kaiger and Jyoger. I fucking love Jyoger though. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, people, yeah, <laughs> people put Gokaiger on a fucking pedestal for, for, for what they want to be for, for an anniversary. I'm talking, I just talk, sorry, sorry, I'm talking very fast, I'm talking very fast, my bad. But, yeah, people put Gokaiger on a pedestal, and yet they want like, every anniversary to be like Gokaiger, like, like, yeah, guy, no, no. Gokaiger was ahead of his time. It's time for a change. Hell, I love, and I fucking love what Zenkaiger did because of that. You just, sh <laughs> oh my god, I hate, I hate, I hate it. I just fucking hate doing people. I just fucking hate with Eric and Gokaiger fans that want, want every anniversary to be like Gokaiger. Yeah, no, guys. It wasn't going to. Yeah, no. It wasn't going to. What I want. What I want for like for next, what I want for like next anniversary season, that what I want like for the next summer anniversary season is this. I want I want the show to be like I want the show to pay homage to past Sentai. Yeah, but it's, yeah, same time. I want it to be like Jyoger and Bokenger. because what I love about both those shows that well while, while yes both are anniversary seasons, at the same time. Both show, both show did, both show did somewhat pay homage to past Sentai's, and I love that. And uh, honestly, and honestly, I want to see that in the Sentai, in the anniversary season for Super Sentai. Because, well, shit, I'm actually down to see that. No joke. But uh, but uh, you know, but you know. There are people out there that there there are fans out there that had expectations of way too damn high, like you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys let your you guys let your expectation you guys let your expectation expectation take over take over you because you guys demand way too much in the community and honestly. It's fucking annoying. It's gonna be language, but it's yeah, actually effing annoying. Can I correct? Yeah, I can. Yeah, it's fucking annoying, though. It's just stupid. Like, guys, stop. Just, just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Don't, don't, don't cry to Toei or anyone else. Blame yourself for having expectations up way too much. And honestly, I freaking hate that because like this always happens when like when a new Toku show comes out or being announced or revealed. Like how they have a comic fear, and now people are now people are now now people are mad now people are mad that I ain't the Cuban Ranger suit for that show. Like even though it wasn't going to be Cuban Ranger suit in the first place, just saying. In fact, I'm gonna be honest. The Q Ranger suits are pretty. Q Ranger suits are under are not underrated. The Q Ranger suits are overrated. And I know Q Ranger is a popular show. I know it did good for a toy set. It's a popular show. I know. I know, but still, Q the Q Rangers the, the suits, the Q Ranger suits are overrated. I don't care what no one says. They are. Same for Go Kaijers. Don't at me because they are. Ah, so I'm getting mad, but uh, yeah. I think I should talk about why. I think I should talk about why I don't. I don't care for you. Though. I, uh, <laughs> I think I should talk about why I just don't really care for Go Kai as a show. And uh, I'm gonna piss off a lot of people from saying this. All right, all right. Go Kai did help a lot of people in 2012 with the, with the freaking tsunami. And I know. And I know that was a dark time for Japan, and uh, I do, and uh, my, and my condolences go to all the loved ones that uh that didn't make it to the tsunami around that time. 
I know, Go Kaiju and Forze made it help people. And, uh, uh, that's great, that's good, I respect that. I know, I know that, I know that both are fan favorites. I know the Go Kaiju sell a lot of merchandise due, due to fucking Ranger Keys. Again, at the same time, not surprised that Go Kaiju is a popular, it's a popular show because of the, because of it, so yeah. But, uh, yeah. But, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know that, uh, I know that, uh, I know that Gokaiger help a lot of people on the time. That's great. That's good to hear. I'm totally fine with that. Listen, if, listen, if you like the show, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. But I have my problem with the fucking fan base in general with that show. Didn't Gokaiger just got, like, a freaking anniversary movie last year? Oh, yeah, it did. Now, now I can destroy Go Kaiser. Okay, that sounds so wrong. <laughs> so, I want to say this. I'm gonna say this nice way possible. People, people on Twitter did not. There are some people on Twitter who did not like what I had to say about Go Kaiser. And what I mean by that is this: people, uh, people treat Go Kaiser. People that treat Go Kai just say that it's the perfect Sentai, the perfect anniversary show. I'm like, is it really perfect? Because I think I think about more. I think about like a lot. At, to be honest, like it's so really perfect. No, it's not perfect. It's flawed. It's flawed. It has flaws, yes, but it's not perfect. No Toku show is perfect, and that's coming from me. And to be honest, what the. What the fuck is the plot to Go Kaiger? It got it. <coughs> Besides the fact that they gave Ranger keys, what the fuck is the plot to Go Kaiger? Oh, there isn't one. Well, shit. Well, to be honest, the show epic the show is pretty much epic episodic, just like Abra and Decca. But to be fair, my boy accountable for that show. Even though, even though I don't care for Go Kaiger, so yeah. To be honest, hey, I have a bias for a Kawa because this motherfucker will perform my favorite Toku show. Kruga, Decker Ranger, Opera Ranger, and Kira Major. So, yeah. But, yeah, every time I go on Twitter, talk about why I don't like Gokai, or I don't care for it, Gokai just fans get butt hurt and get mad at me. Hell, a few of them block me. Because I, can't, I, can't, I, get, my reason, I get my reason why I don't like Gokai in general. I want you guys. You guys. You can like the show. That's fine. I'm not saying I'm not saying don't like the show. You can like the show. That's fine. If that show special to you, that's totally fine. But for me but for me in general, I don't care for Go Kaiger because that show is overrated as hell. There are there are way better Sentai that there are way better There are way better Sentai that are better than fucking Go Kaiser. And to be honest, to go kind of just pretty much fan service. Just saying, it's fan service. Like, take away all the past cameos out of it, and and it pretty much would have been like bull Kinger in my eyes. And I wouldn't not mind that. But no, it's just fan service. It's just fucking fan service. To it's just fucking fan service, and uh, I just honestly don't I honestly don't like that. I mean, I like fan service. I like fan service. At the same time, at the same time, people just put again. People put that show on a freaking pedestal, and I don't like that. Just, I don't. I don't know why, but lately I've been getting lately I've been getting mad at Go Kaiju because I just find the show annoying with, with, with how the fans treat it as as some type of perfectionist god. Like, you guys, it's not. You guys, it's not. It's fucking not. It's fucking not. I enjoyed Gokaiger watching... I enjoyed Gokaiger two years ago, watching it for the first time. But now, yeah, no, I don't care for Gokaiger. I didn't even freaking buy the freaking Memorial Mobirates. Not to be fair, to be honest, to be honest that... That uh, set for all the keys were fucking expensive as hell, and Go Kaiser fan would be sucking on Bandai's nuts for 
Now, Gokaiju fans would be sucking up Bandai's nuts for that for that Memorial Mobirates set. So yeah, no offense, but uh, if you like Gokaiju, that's fine. I'm not gonna I'm not going to uh I'm not gonna judge you. I'm not gonna judge you for that. But uh, yeah. <laughs> oh boy, Brooklyn, you sent a lot of spicy things in here. But uh, yeah. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, ay. So, better say, oh, yeah, I don't care for Gokaiju. I just don't, though. I mean, like, I love Zenkaiju. I fucking love Bokanger and Jyoldra. I like all the Hammer season. They, they, they do the inadvertent format way better than Gokaiju in my eyes. Hell, freaking Jyoldra. Freaking Jyoldra. Oh, okay, I'm off with. Hell, freaking Geoger. Freaking Geoger did like a, did like a mini special to reference Super Sentai. All the Super Sentai, sh all the Super Sentai seasons. Before the freaking, before that freaking damn V Cinema came out. Bullkinger had the Bullkinger for the Super Sentai movie. I fucking love that movie. It's decent. And, uh, though. Those move. Those are what I wanted to see in future anniversary season for Sentai. I don't want to be. Go I don't want every season. I don't want any. I don't. Oh, okay. I don't want every anniversary season to be like Go Kaiger for fan service. No, because to be honest, the fan service is freaking annoying a lot in the show. <clears throat> Hence why they like Revice, and yet, while Revice isn't an anniversary show, in my opinion it is. But, uh, I didn't like Revice, I didn't like Revice that much. Be because, of, because of the anniversary part drained the crap out of me. I fucking love Dome Brothers. While Dome Brothers, while Dome Brothers is an anniversary season, at the same time, at the same time, it does... Same time, it does the freaking stuff way better than, uh, well, you know. <laughs> it does, it does, it does, it does. It did what Zenkaiser did, and Gokaiser did, but better, my, but better, I'm trying to say. So, yeah. And for the record, no hate towards Zenkaiser. I actually like Zenkaiser. Was it? Does it have problems? Yes, but I enjoyed it, though. So, yeah. Okay, my phone's going on. What the heck is what the f is going on? Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Ah, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, hold on. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that, but, uh, but yeah, back back on the saying, uh, yeah, uh, I like Zinkaiser. Is is it one of my favorite? No, but it was good. I enjoyed it. So yeah, I might have a little bit of bias towards it, but uh, same time, it's it's kind of, it's, it's kind of whatever. Well, I won't say whatever. No, I might have a little, I might have a bias towards it, but at the same time, not saying it, but. But, uh, yeah, I like Zenkaiser, okay? I fucking like Zenkaiser. This show. Is it perfect? No, but, uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed I enjoy it because, because Zenkaiser isn't trying to be like Gokaiger. And I love that. Because, again, P 
people in the community, people, people in the community really want future anniversary season to be like Senkaiger. And that, and that's, no, no, yeah, no, no, that isn't, yeah, no, yeah, no, that, yeah, no, that isn't it. Yeah, no, that, that really, that really isn't it, though. <sighs> ay, ay, ay. I just, I just wish that people just stop, just, just stop freaking wanting to be like Go Kaiser. Cause God damn it, when Zen Kaiser came out, when Zen Kaiser came out, uh, what happened? Uh, last year, a dumbass, a fucking moron. Was mad as hell that Stacy lost to Zox, and I actually, I actually know, I actually know who the user is. We're not friends, no. Uh, I see a few times my timeline. I comment on there. I I responded to him, telling him that how Stacy isn't meant to be like, how Stacy is meant, how Stacy isn't meant to be like what, like what Bosco? Yeah, he wanted Stacy to be like Bosco. And yeah, I told the dumb man. Hey, go hey, dude, guess what? The show isn't going to be like Gokaiger. And it's totally unfair to compare the two. And he'll be biased to be, he'll, he'll be told, he'll totally be biased because he's like Gokaiger, not fucking Zenkaiger. Listen, if you like both shows, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. But I just can't, I just can't, I just can't with Gokaiser fans, because they fucking piss me off. Get annoyed too. I'm like, there are other good shows that ain't Gokaiger, other good Sentai's. Just saying. Ugh. I don't know why, I don't know why that gave me angry, but it just does. It just does. Do I need help? Yeah, I definitely need help. I definitely need help because fucking hell. This is just annoying. <sighs> this is annoying. This is just annoying. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, well, I'm gonna finish, well, I'm gonna finish talking before I go, I go, before I go, uh, eat because I'm hungry right now. But, uh, all I'm gonna say is this. I think I just hate Go Kaiser. I think I just hate the. I think I just hate uh the toxic Go Kaiser fans or the. Go I think I just hate Go Kaiser fans who are just biased in general to to that anniversary season as a whole because that's just yeah no that just pisses me off so <laughs> yeah yeah I think that yeah I think that yeah 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 fuck. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. I think I just hate Go Kaiser fans that just that are just biased toward that whole entire show in general for being in review season. Uh, ay ay ay. Oh uh, yeah, uh Thank you all for uh, watching this podcast episode called Hot Takes. Cause oh boy, this is gonna piss off a lot of people, that's for sure. <laughs> This, this, this is going to piss off a lot of people for this episode. So, uh, yeah. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow my social media in the description. And uh, post, keep my notifications on for my, for my next video. And, uh, yeah. My name is Boku. And uh, I'm out. I'm going to eat dinner. Have a nice day. Bye.